Okay. Got her. Nice. Yep. There it is. There's all of our jewelry. And my name is Tom Swope, and uh, I'm the uh, president of Accurate Exhaust Products LTD. All we do is Mopars. We make factory correct uh, exhaust systems that a person can put on his car in an hour or two, and uh, that's been our business. Comes like this. Unless, of course, you have, you're have you ordering an H-bike. My name is Jamie Hensley, and I work with Tom, my dad, at Accurate Exhaust Products. Mark called him a few weeks ago about the 71 Cuda, and I overheard my dad talking about the uniqueness about it. It appeared to be uh, an early 71. The exhaust system is all the same as 71, 72, except a different hanger is, is applied to this car as a 1970. So we put it together. So I thought, Hey, I'm going to come up and see if I can learn something too while they bolt up the system. Seeing the system completely laid out from head pipe to tail pipe on the table, uh, the exact same way it's going to go in the car, uh, really gives you a sense of how accurate, no pun intended, the system is. See, these have this little washer on here, this little provision. That makes it a one person job. Notice how I didn't say a one man job, one person yeah. job. It keeps lock. the top bolt from spinning. And are we loose? Nice. Okay, roll up. Accurate Exhaust has built many exhaust systems based on the factory systems. They not only appear the way the factory ones did, but they also sound and perform the exact same way the factory one did. So by the time you're done putting the system in with the pipes, the resonators, the mufflers, the hangers, and the tips, to duplicate exactly what Chrysler did in 1971 in this case. I love those things. Okay, this is what's important is that anti-sway bar on this car. You were saying earlier, the aftermarket sway bars people put on, the real thick ones, they'll have a little bit of uh, interference. Okay. okay. If that one will go up a little, we'll be good. There we go. So right now we're just doing the final fit before we tighten down all the clamps. Uh, you just want to make sure that the pipe's exactly where it's supposed to be forward and backward so that it's in the optimum position and it's not hitting anything you have to go through. Kind of rattle the exhaust and make sure it's not clanking against the bottom of the car somewhere. Something like that. So what you want is some clearance between the brake line because it can get hot with the exhaust coming by it. So you want to have a little bit of room there. He's saying a couple of fingers, his fingers, which is like one of my fingers. And then um, down here where the sway bar is, you want to make sure you also have good clearance because the car will roll and flex when it goes through a corner. So you're saying you snug everything down, align your tips, put everything together, but after you've ran it for a little bit, half an hour, driving up and down the road, come bring it right back in and suck everything down. Because you'll see your tips will do this. Yeah, yeah, that tells I had you that it. something's off. The thing's moved and right. flexed. And, right. Okay. So yeah, putting the whole system together is pretty fast. Taking a little extra time and dialing it in, that's, I'm glad Tom came on. I gotta be, I, I cheat a little, occasionally. This is the easiest exhaust system that I haven't installed. Mark and Tom and his daughter just really made light work of it. I'm really happy we got the exhaust system in. It's a beautiful system. It's gonna function the way it's supposed to. It looks the way it's supposed to. I can't wait to fire the engine up and hear the rumble through the tips. Love those tips. I'm not celebrating yet. Nobody's breaking open the champagne. There's a lot of work left on that car to do and just very little time to do it. What I wanna do is I wanna get the valance on it, get those tips where they belong in the opening and then tighten everything down. Because if you suck it down now, you may have to move it all again later to get it to fit perfectly in the opening of the valance. Yeah, that'd be a pain in the it's just, yeah, you just learn. Why isn't that plugged in? These exhaust tips are just one of the coolest things ever. Um, it was a bold move, I think, on Chrysler's part to take this huge rear valance panel, punch a couple of holes in it, and stick these beautiful chrome tips out through it. It was a good move, and it's it, one of my favorite characteristics of the Chrysler muscle cars. Yeah, Does it level look good? good? Yeah. Looks good. Yeah, it looks good, man. Uh, we just got the last few pieces locked down. Uh, exhaust tips are in place and align through the rear valance. We're going to let it down now and roll it into the assembly room and get started on it. Let's not worry about showing off. Okay. Whoa! It's all wow. good. <laughs> it's all good. Tell me when to turn it, Gary! Whoa! Uh, you only about that much. That's close enough. Hang on. Keep it cranked. Okay, right there. 